it's time for another new Kansas City Spotlight. Here's your host, Lauren Scott. In the aftermath of an intense storm, you can be left with unexpected expenses and damage. So today we are joined by Garen Armstrong with Shamrock Roofing with what you need to know. Good morning, Garen. How's it going? Good morning, Lauren. It's going well. Thank you. So Garen, we recently had a huge storm here in the KC area. It was like apple sized hail coming down. Uh, a lot of people had damage to their property. What should they be looking for in a contractor? They should be looking for a contractor that's licensed and bonded, that's local, mm -hmm. so that if there's repairs that are needed, they can call your contractor and they could, they could be out there to fix any, any repairs or craftsmanship warranty that arises. Okay, and why is it so important that after a storm like this, people have their roofs looked at? It's so important because so much hail, what it does is it bruises the, uh, the shingle and it breaks the asphalt matting mm -hmm. and it breaks to where water uh, is, will, will not be able to, to, sh to shed off the shingle and then you'll get water infiltration in your home and it'll start rotting the wood, you'll start getting mold, getting that, that, that type of uh, effect. And then what also is important is that you let your insurance company know because you've only got uh, a certain amount of time, usually up, uh, up to a year, to get your roof replaced. Mm -hmm. And what happens is over time, the granules will bake off of there where the hails hit and crack even worse and, and will break and you'll get more water. And by that time, the storm that had happened is past the timeline from your insurance company. And so that's why it's important to let your insurance company know now. Okay, is there anything else with insurance that people need to be aware of? that you have to pay your deductible. Okay. State law that you have to pay your deductible. So if someone's coming by saying you can't, that they're gonna waive the deductible or they're pay the deductible, they can't. That you're violating state law and that's a felony. So you've got to pay your deductible. So one last question, how long does it take to replace the average roof? To replace the average roof is uh, usually a day and a half to two days. Okay, well, easy enough. All right, so if people wanna get in touch with you, uh, learn more, how can they do that? at shamrockroofer.com or 913-850-6556. Again, that's shamrockroofer.com or 913-850-6556. Okay, well thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you, Lauren, for having me. This Kansas City Spotlight has been paid for by Shamrock Roofing. For more information, visit shamrockroofer.com.